Hey everyone, Dave Nelson here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the filters in your lead category. And I'm not gonna go through them all because there's a lot. So I'm gonna highlight the ones that I personally use and find the most valuable, especially once you get to a, a point where you have hundreds, thousands of leads in your system and you wanna filter them through, maybe you wanna clean it out, maybe you wanna, whatever it is, um, I'm gonna show you some cool things to do with the filters. Please like, subscribe, and share because sharing is caring. And I'm gonna be putting out videos on a regular basis, so you don't wanna miss them. All right, let's get hopping on. So if you don't know what this is, this is Lofty. Um, that's why you're here. So what you wanna do is go to your people. And again, people is another name for your leads. Um, I'm not gonna show you all of my leads because I don't wanna get banned on, on YouTube for showing personal information. So these are just dummy leads. Um, I have around 1400 leads in my system currently. So what you wanna do is on the right side, you can see the filters tab. You click down here and I'm just gonna quickly scroll. You can see there's just a lot of options to go through, okay? Um, the ones that I find are the most important. So when I was running a team, I would filter by agent, but I don't run a team anymore, so that's gone. Um, opportunities. So if you drop that down, these are the things that Lofty has pinged as an opportunity. For example, high interest back in the market, they maybe did a um, CMA request or they came back to the website after being gone a period of time, click on those. Segments don't remind, I don't do that. Reminder, source, um, that's gonna be mostly if you wanna look at uh, what leads came in through Zillow, through your sphere. If you do a lot of at, you know, lead campaigns, um, this will be able to, a great way to kind of click through and you can look where your sources are. Um, tags are good. I love using tags. So if you don't know what a tag is, tag is something that you attach to that lead to let you know that, let's say they signed up for your 2024 client appreciation event. You can create that tag. <clears throat> so anybody that has that tag, you can filter them out. So maybe that you want to send them something important. So some tags that I would recommend using, um, your vendor list. So I would hashtag or tag everyone vendors that's on your list. That way you can just do a, a quick email to all of your vendors. Uh, that's a good one. Or your clients that have just sold or your buyers. Or, but there's a group, there's a, and people can have multiple tags. So there you go. Um, registration date, that's just always a good one too. So if you want to go through and say, I'm looking for, a, a, you know, what's recently this month, last year, or you can do a custom date range. So this is something though, like I, I love doing Hail Marys. So maybe once a month, I'll do a Hail Mary. And maybe people that have signed up the first year that I've had this, so that was eight years ago. I'll just throw a Hail Mary and say, hey, just curious if you're still thinking of buying or selling. Um, this, is a, this is a good way of doing, just kind of kicking up some dirt maybe on your cold leads. Um, lead source, very similar price. Um, this is more specific if you want to go through and look for maybe sending properties. <clears throat> Permission. So uh, one thing that I do a lot is contact information. So when they sign up, of course, they're required to do these things. But if you click on it, if you are if you only want to have people with phone numbers in your account, well, then you click without. And then, for example, this one doesn't have a phone number, and you can delete it or put it in the, in the, the trash, whatever you want to do. Um, but what I typically will do is go through email address without. Whew. My two people, I already have email addresses. Great. Um, did the email bounce? Yes. Oh, crap. They bounced. So then I would delete these because these are bad. You know, why would you want them in your system if they have bad emails? And then also, this is a good one to email opened. So if you've been sending emails to somebody for a long period of time, um, click them. Have they opened those emails? Yes or no? Permission to contact and deliver texts. Um, smart plans. So this is a good way, too, of going through your leads and just making sure that they are on a smart plan. So FYI, as you go through these filters, you can have multiple filters set up. So let's say you want to search for buyers, for example, and then maybe you want to go to smart plan and say without a smart plan or all the leads in the general without a smart plan. And then you can actually select the smart plan that you want to put them on. Oops. There you go. Um, without a smart plan, doesn't matter. So then you could with, so you can actually pick which smart plan that you want to look for and then what status are they active or inactive. But I like doing the without smart plans because man, you, I forget that sometimes you have these, these leads that aren't on a smart plan and they're not getting anything from you. 
go through and check. Are they all on smart plans? Are they getting something from you? All right. Market reports with or without property alerts with or without. So market reports, this is something really good if you have sellers. So what I would go through and I would put first off, go up here and say lead type equals to seller. And again, you can have multiple ones, but I'll go seller. And then I'd go down to market report without market report. So that's saying these are the sellers that don't have a market report on, on this list. And then I would go through and make sure they have one. Same thing, you go back up to here, equals to, let's say just buyers or, or they're bought, someone's buying. You wanna go through and make sure that, do they have property alerts? So anybody without property alerts should show up here and that way you can fix it. So the whole goal of Lofty is to be sending out something to your leads in a timely fashion, but just giving them some content, some value to keep them on your website. Some, uh, property alerts, like I've said in the previous video, are really important to be set up on new leads that come through that are searching because maybe they never, they won't want, want to contact you for a day, week, month, year, who knows what, but keep sending those property alerts because um, they're getting something from you and they may call you back. So it's a great way of checking that out. Closely user, this is a, this is a newer one. You can see, are they on, do they have your app or don't? If they don't have your app, send them all a mass email and say, hey, you know, play dumb. Say, hey, I'm not sure if you know this, but we have a really cool app. Click the link to get the app. Last reply, so or last touch, last website visit, so last time they came to your website. Last reply, last time they sent a text, called or email to you. Um, text sent, text received, all those fun things. So you can kind of go through and check out there. So there's an awesome way of going through these filters and really kind of you know narrowing it down. So if you're not if you're not getting any business, but you got leads in your system, first off, go through and clean them up and use the filters to do that. But then make sure all of your leads are on property alerts, market updates, they're on a smart plan, whatever it is, make sure they're on something because that's only otherwise they're just a dead lead to you. And the, the odds of someone signing up and then you not talking to them, and then they just randomly call you back. I have a better chance of being struck by lightning with a bear riding a shark. And that's that's really what it is. So anyways, there you go. That's what with filters. Play around with it, have fun. And then too, let's say you don't like the filters. So you click the arrow and it shows you the filters that you have. So let's say you want to delete the property alerts. There you go. If you want to reset your filters altogether, you hit the, the, the erase button. And then there you go. Goes back, goes back to your um, generic filters. So there you go. That's filters. So please like, subscribe, and share because sharing is caring. I love doing this, and I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.